My next guest in the author's studio is a man who's usually at the other end of an interview doing the grilling. Um, he's just a great polymath, I think I'd describe him in terms of a phenomenal knowledge across the whole spectrum of the arts. Um, he's a one-off and I think a truly great guy, Mark Lawson. Always, many writers give this tip, but I, I got it from a writer 30 years ago on the John Dunn programme on Radio 2, is um, always know what you're going to write the next day or the next time you sit down. My favourite book that I've written uh, is The Allegations, which is the one that's just come out, because it's very um, personal to me, although not directly autobiographical. It's based on some fairly painful events that I went through, and so that means a lot to me, that book. Because I'm a journalist by trade, um, I write uh, all over the place, um, but I, 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 a little bit at trains, hotel rooms, um, houses, I mean just wherever I am really, and so I've had to learn to do that. The book that most inspired me, I think, and we always have to say in a Twitter age, I'm not in any way claiming to be anywhere near this quality, um, is F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. Uh, every year I reread that book, and the reason is that I think it's the only perfect novel, um, but also it's the novel which is astonishing, written in 1925, um, tells us everything about modern America and celebrity. Uh, if you want to understand what happened with Donald Trump, go and read The Great Gatsby. My guilty pleasure, but it's also a professional necessity, I claim, is uh, television. Um, I am a television critic, but I watch TV all the time, and I would if... Well, not all the time, obviously I have to do other things, but um, I love watching television. Um, box sets and um, have been uh, devastating for me, I and mean, they've reduced the amount of work I can do. Uh, Walter Presents on Channel 4, which for the first time brings us TV from around the world, is in one way the greatest thing ever to happen to me, but in another way by far the worst. I always run writing fiction, or indeed journalism, just on a little index card. Um, I write the points, the basic points that I want to get into that piece or that paragraph or that section of the book, and I find that useful. Yes, um, my family tell me that um, even before I could really write, um, I used to uh, make little books, picture books, um, and uh, sellotape them, and, uh, but they had proper pages and everything, and even storylines. And my, um, grand, my uh, maternal grandfather, um, Leo, he, he, he was um, a betting man, only small amounts, but he bet on the horses, and he had little red books, um, you remember them, you used to buy them in Woolworths, uh, in which he put his, um, his tips and his, I think probably, sadly, mainly his losings rather than his winnings. Um, but I, I used to, he used to give me pages out of those, and when I could write, I used to write little books and then uh, staple them together. This is confession time. Um, I, th I, I very rarely admit this, but when I, from when I was about 10 and I was writing um, school essays or stories, um, I sat at a desk that faced a wall. And what I used to do, this will mean nothing to young people because they have, um, uh, they have computer terminals now on the desk, keyboards. But in the old days of news, the uh, newsreader used to have a physical script which they used to square, tap on the table and say, good night. And I used to do that with my um, school essays and stories. So uh, let's hope no um, psychiatrists are watching this. I've interviewed a lot of authors and that is the most uh, interesting question, I think, where stuff comes from. Um, for me, and uh, it may be, maybe I'm a frustrated playwright, I have written some uh, TV and radio plays, um, it always starts with a line or two of dialogue. Um, which again, let's hope psychiatrists aren't um, watching, but most writers will tell you this. Um, I hear someone saying something in my head. Um, very often uh, the accent, um, the type of language they use, and I can see them. I'm obsessed with dialogue to an unusual extent probably. I mean, critics have said this, and it's because I do 
I mean, I'd be lucky to get out of the hotel after this. Um, I do hear voices. This is not in any way personal to this interview. Um, I hate being asked any question because um, in the same way that I'm told that doctors are terrible, terrible patients, um, I've done 5,000 interviews uh, in my career so far in um, television, radio, print. Um, and uh, just as doctors hate going to the doctor, um, I hate being interviewed. And I realize it's hypocritical, <laughs> and, um, but I just do hate it. And I've only ever been interviewed about six, seven times. And no matter how enjoyable or charming it is, which it always has been, um, I just find it very odd. And I think um, it must be the same with doctors. Um, I'm, too, I'm too aware of looking for techniques and thinking, ah, I mean, all, I'm obsessed with cricket. I think I'm always looking for the googly um, and it, uh, in the way that a cricketer would be when batting against the top spin bowler. I've lost five or six novels, which makes me seem incredibly forgetful or absent-minded. Um, but I've lost them in a particular way, which is that they've been overtaken by events. Um, there was a time when my publisher, Picador, um, wanted to um, market me as Mystic, Mystic Mark. Um, because I used to start writing these books and then they'd happen. And, and I don't really like talking about it because they're generally tragic things. Um, so I, I, I was writing a book in which something very like 9-11 happened and then it happened. I was writing a book about a tragedy involving an English princess and then Princess Diana died. Um, and then the four others are less, um, they're prophetic in a different way. Um, in the course of writing them, I opened a newspaper and saw that somebody else had written them. <laughs> and so I've lost five or six in that way. It doesn't always work though, because um, I keep starting writing a novel in which Leeds United win the premiership. Um, but oddly enough, that's one that never gets overtaken by events. Hope you really enjoyed watching Mark Lawson on the author's studio. And if you have, do please like and share this. And if there's a question that you'd like to ask Mark, do please put it in the comment box below and we'll make sure he gets it.